on my first trip across seas, I ended up in the Philippines drying off with a sock. I'm going to show you how to avoid my mistakes so that you're ready for your adventure. By the end of this video, you'll be packing like a pro ready for your overseas trip. And if you stay to the end, I have three pro tips and one bonus tip that when I learned it, it literally changed my travel experience forever. Here's my packing essentials list. The first thing you're going to need, obviously, is a passport. Your passport is your key to exploring the world. It is an essential document that you must have in order to get access and entry into foreign countries. Find a secure place to keep your passport and keep it there the entire time. That way when you access it, you're always putting it back in the exact same spot. My backpack, which I have with me at all times, has a special pouch in it and I always keep my passport there so I'm never looking for it and never wondering where it is. Guard your passport with your life. Treat it as your most valuable possession during your travels. I'm telling you, losing your passport can turn into a traveler's nightmare and cause tons of complications and tons of stress. So make sure you keep your passport in a secure spot. The next thing I would say to bring is comfortable clothes. Comfortable clothes are a non-negotiable for enjoying your traveling experience. Prioritize clothes that allow you freedom for movement and keep you comfortable for long periods of time. My personal preference when traveling, especially on planes and when we're going across seas for long periods of time, I love wearing some comfortable joggers. They are super breathable and really, really comfortable. After all of my travels, the shoes I've landed on for my traveling shoes are the on cloud running shoes. Guys, I love these things. If you're anything like me, usually when you're traveling, you are going to be doing lots of walking and having a comfortable pair of shoes will absolutely save your life. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below of all the different things I'm mentioning in this video so you can easily find them. The next thing you're going to want to pack for your trip, obviously, is all of your clothes. That's probably the first thing we all think about when we think of traveling. Choose clothing items that can be easily mixed and matched for different types of occasions. Versatility will help you so much when packing because it will allow you to pack lighter. You don't want to overpack and end up lugging around tons of stuff that you never needed and it's just a pain in the butt. Also, you risk when you get to the airport being overweight and having to pay extra money for things that you really don't need. You should be able to fit everything you need for an extended trip. Anywhere from 10 days to three weeks easily should fit in a suitcase. Don't forget, when you're in other countries, you can get your clothes washed. So that should help you when you're trying to figure out what to pack. Now this is something I didn't know when I started traveling. And that was that when you get on airplanes and you get up there in the air, those airplane cabins can get really cold. So make sure you bring some type of jacket or sweatshirt for the airplane. There is nothing more miserable than being on a 12 hour flight and freezing. So make sure you pack something warm. Something else you want to think about when you're packing your clothes is to be culturally sensitive when packing your clothes. You want to be respectful and gracious when traveling. Not all cultures are the same and not all cultures have the same expectations when it comes to the way that they dress. So figure out what is typical in the country you're going to and dress appropriately. This obviously isn't a hard fast rule, but like I said, it is just the respectful thing to do. Now, I know I told you not to overpack, but there are two items that I'm giving you permission to overpack and that's underwear and socks. There are two things you do not want to run short of, and that is your underwear and socks. 
everyone will thank you, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Listen, just be intentional about your clothing choices. A well thought out wardrobe will give you a more enjoyable traveling experience. And here's the, the traveling packers golden rule. If you're asking yourself, am I packing too much? You're probably packing too much. Now let's talk about toiletries. Most big box stores are going to have a section dedicated to travel sized options when it comes to toiletries. Try to resist the urge to bring full size containers of shampoo and conditioner. Trust me, you don't need them. And guess what? I'm about to blow your mind. Other countries do have shampoo as well. It's not just a myth. Something else you're going to want to bring is hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer is your best friend. Different countries mean different types of germs. Keeping your hands clean is a great habit to be in no matter where you are, but more importantly, when you're traveling to a country where you are not familiar with the different type of germs, your body is going to react to them differently. So pack a small bottle of hand sanitizer and use it often. Hey, if you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you can stay up to date with more videos just like this. The next thing you're going to want to bring is a travel towel. I have this compact travel towel that I travel with everywhere I go. It was a game changer. This will help you avoid the drying off with a sock situation that I found myself in. They take up very little space and they're just a good thing to have. All right, time to get organized. Bring a dirty laundry bag to keep your smelly stuff away from all your clean clothes. Also, packing cubes are a game changer for organization. I'll leave a link in the description below to the ones that we got, and that really helps keep your suitcase organized and structured. And don't forget flip-flops for those times where you have to share showers with other people. Always wear flip-flops in the shower. Some other packing essentials that I would recommend bringing are some baby wipes, or for us guys, we'll, we'll bring the dude wipes, although my wife told me Dude wipes are baby wipes. These are a great traveling hack for staying fresh. And I'll be honest with you, depending on what country you're going to, I'm just gonna be honest, you never know if there's going to be toilet paper in the bathrooms or not. So make sure you bring some wipes. I would also recommend bringing some electrolyte powder. It would really help you if, you're, if you go for a long period of time and you're not able to get food or, or some type of nutrients. Um, electrolyte powder will keep you energized and give you those essential uh, minerals that your body needs. Um, I would recommend a travel pillow for long flights, a traveling neck pillow, a universal travel adapter to keep your devices charged. And then for some medications, I would recommend Tylenol, Imodium, and some type of laxative. Listen, those are just in case scenarios. I'm not saying you're going to need them, but I am telling you, if you do need them, which I have in some of my travels, you are going to be thankful that you have them. So Tylenol, Imodium, and some type of laxative. All right, if you've made it this far in the video, I'm excited to tell you that we're about to get to three pro level traveling tips that will change the way you travel. Okay, the first one you're going to want to get is an Apple AirTag to throw into your luggage. This little device will save you from countless headaches. They're only about $25 and it's a very minimal investment for how much value you could potentially get out of them. It was last year I was traveling to India and when I was in India, we were going from one location to the next, so this was an Indian airline. Uh, my suitcase got lost. When we got to Calcutta, India, I was able to look up and able to see that my suitcase was still in Delhi. And because I knew exactly where it was, we were able to get connected with different types of people and get that suitcase to me. Because this was an Indian airline that we were traveling, I guarantee you if I would not have known where it was, I would have never seen that suitcase again. And I had some really, 
really important things in that suitcase that would be hard to replace. So get an Apple AirTag and having that peace of mind that you can always know exactly where your suitcase is at. The next pro tip is bring an extra change of clothes with you when you fly to the country you're going to. Listen, in a perfect world, your luggage will always get to where it's going, when it's supposed to be there, but unfortunately, that doesn't always happen. And if you bring an extra change of clothes in your carry-on, when you get to the country you're going to, you can cycle through at least two outfits. So get those clothes washed, wear your next outfit, you can cycle through those two while you're waiting for your suitcase or luggage or buying new clothes or whatever, at least you have a change of clothes that you can wear. Now this is the pro tip that absolutely changed my life. And it's this, it's the Night Pillow Compression Travel Case. I cannot express to you the importance of getting good sleep when you're on a trip. Personally, I have to get a good quality sleep if I am going to be at my best. Bringing my pillow, my pillow that I sleep with at home, bringing my pillow with me has made all the difference in the world. It has allowed me to get better sleep and that's just made my traveling experience so much better. I'll leave a link to this travel pillowcase in the description below. You will not regret getting it. So there you have it. You're ready for an awesome overseas trip. Hey, I'm always learning. So I would love for you to drop your ideas in the comments below of what you would recommend in an essentials packing list. If I get enough good ideas, maybe I'll make a part two and share your suggestions in an upcoming video. And if you like this video, you're going to love this video on pro packing tips. These tips are a little bit more money, but if you really want to take your traveling experience to the next level, then you're going to want to check out the advanced traveling tips video.